I am Anil Kumar and in this unit we are going to explore how to sketch graph of given function. Now vertical and horizontal asymptotes are very important to sketch graph of any function especially rational functions. So we will explore these functions in this particular chapter. Question here is state the equation of vertical and horizontal asymptotes describe the behavior of the graph near the asymptotes right so vertical asymptotes we can see there are two vertical asymptotes here right so let me mark these vertical asymptotes so this is one of the vertical asymptotes the other one is right there the equation of this vertical asymptote is x equals to 1 the equation of the other one is x equals to minus 1 so these are vertical asymptotes as you can see that as x approaches 1, let's say from minus 1, from negative side, from negative side. In limits language, we can say limit of uh, the function f of x. As x approaches minus 1 from left side, the function f of x approaches from the left side, it approaches negative infinity. Do you see that? It approaches negative infinity. Now, limit of the function as x approaches minus 1 from the positive side, right? So, what happens? The function approaches, positive side is the right side of this. It approaches positive infinity. In that case, f of x approaches positive infinity. This is called behavior near the function. So, what we are trying to write here in the form of limits is kind of behavior near asymptote and that is vertical asymptote uh, we'll write x equals to minus 1 right so that is how we describe behavior near the asymptote similarly you can pause the video and describe behavior near the vertical asymptote x equals to plus 1 so what we will do again is same thing we'll see how does the graph of the function behaves as you are approaching the vertical asymptote from left side and from the right side. In limit language, we can write this as limit. X approaches 1. From left side means negative. That means left side. And the function approaches minus infinity. You can see it's going down, right? So this function's limit, as you approach from the left side of 1, the function approaches negative infinity. And limit, when X approaches 1 from right side then the function approaches in that case function f of x approaches positive infinity so that is the behavior of the graph of the function near its vertical asymptote you get the point so this is what we are going to understand in this particular chapter now here we also have horizontal asymptote the horizontal asymptote is when x approaches negative infinity what happens to the function so for horizontal asymptote we will consider uh, limit of the function right when x approaches negative infinity if it approaches a value in that case we say this limit is that the function f of x approaches 0 right so say it approaches 0 so we say that there exists a horizontal asymptote and the equation of horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0 the value which function approaches right it is never there but it approaches correct so this is this is what is happening when you approach negative infinity the function approaches zero similarly the limit of the function as x approaches positive infinity you'll notice is is zero right it may be approaching from the positive side that's a different story right so so it is the function is approaching zero well as you see the difference is it is approaching zero from positive side in previous case it is approaching zero but from third quadrant negative side do you see that so so you can see that it's kind of negative value here and positive value here very very close to zero in any case horizontal asymptote in this case also will be y equals to zero since the function is approaching a value which is zero so that is how you need to understand horizontal and vertical asymptotes and this is how 
you can describe behavior of the graph near the asymptotes. I hope that is clear. And now with that, let's take up some questions from the book. Thank you and all the best.